Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to go through the top 10 beginner tips and tricks for Pixel Starships. Alright, tip number one. Pick your starting faction carefully. When you start the game, you're going to be given three options in terms of which faction to choose. You've got to pick wisely because once you have selected it, you can't change it uh, throughout the rest of the game. Uh, in order to change the kind of faction, you have to go to the options menu here and click new account. That's the only way you can change. So tip number two, do not rush to upgrade your ship. So I see this happen a lot to many new players where the first thing they aim for is to actually to upgrade their ship to the next possible level. So it's really important that you do not rush this upgrade because when you rush to a higher tier, a higher ship tier, you end up facing against tougher opponents with you know much higher level crew as well as much higher level weapons and most of the time you're not going to be able to beat them. So don't rush, make sure all your weapons are upgraded to the max possible level as you can see here before you actually upgrade your ship to next tier. Tip number three. So crew is extremely important. So I can't stress this enough. With a good crew you're going to be able to win higher level ships with more advanced weapons. So crew is ranked from common crew, which you can see from here. Uh, common crew is one gem, and it goes all the way up to legendary crew, uh, which is the equivalent of seven gems. So the important things to look out in terms of crew are firstly the statistics. So what kind of attributes and what are the stats? You typically want to look for stats that are above 20, so that is considered really good for a crew. And it really has to depend on your strategy, and you will want the the, web, the stats for that particular strategy you have. So for example, for a gunship, you want crew with high weapon stats. Uh, if you're starting the game, look for crews that you know give you a healing ability and high weapon stats. So tip number four, getting better crew. Currently in the game, there are a few ways in which you can get the crew. So the first way is where you can do crew draws. Uh, using three different kinds of currency. The first being minerals, which gives you a crew of uh, one gem and above. The second way is through um, gas, where it gives you a crew of uh, two gems to three gems. And lastly, uh, you can actually use bucks, star bucks, which are the in-game currency for pixel starships, where you can get you know crew ranging from three stars all the way to five stars. So something to note is that uh, for this beer draw, which is the one here where you can spend 100 bucks to get, uh, the very first draw will always give you a 5 gem you know, hero tier unit. So make sure to prioritize that. So tip number 5 is to level up your crew. So the best way to actually level up your crew is by doing single player missions. So pull up your PvP tab or mission tab. And these are all the different single player missions. The one in orange are basically your story missions and the ones here are your single player missions. So when you do the single player missions, they will actually give you the XP you know, equivalent to the number of trophies that you have currently. So this is a really uh, easy way in which you, know, you can do the missions to basically uh, level up your crew quickly. Something to note is that the level of your crew uh, is a multiple uh, of you know, the, your current ship level. Something to note is that your something to note is that the maximum level of your crew is based on your ship level multiplied by four. So currently, I'm a level five ship, which means that my crew can hit a maximum of level twenty, as you can see here. So tip number six: learn how to use AI. So once you get to ship level 4, you're going to have access to the command center here. And you, with this command center, it allows you to actually configure the AI for both crew as well as your different rooms. 
So this basically allows you to set certain conditions. I'll probably give uh, you know come up with a new video for you know AI how to configure the AI. But very quickly, uh, basically you you know give certain commands like for example if your lasers are below a certain health, you can target the room so that it tells the it tells the the crew to go to the specific room to basically repair the ship. The same thing can be done for weapons, where basically you can you know, tell the weapons where to fire, you know, uh, to increase the power as well as what kind of rooms to target. Uh, a good strategy at the start will be to actually target the enemy's uh, reactors. So uh, most beginner players won't have very good AI, hence they won't be able to you know, command their units to actually repair their rooms. So once you take out all their power, you know, it's pretty much uh, a win for you. So tip number seven, join a fleet. So when you hit ship level four, you actually get access to this room called the fleet council, and this allows you to join a fleet. So join a fleet is really easy. You can basically search for a bunch of fleets. So there are really a lot of reasons why you should join a fleet. The first is that you know you're gonna be able to join a community to play with you, and where you can really you know ask for help along the way. Most of these fleets have a Discord channel where you can you know join and ask for again you know more tips on like ship strategy, AI guides, ship layout, etc. You also get access to the Starbase where you know most of them would have uh, a bugs printer as you can see here where you can then you know get free bugs daily. You know, who doesn't want free bugs? Um, you another really good benefit of a fleet is that you can actually request and borrow crew so especially as a new player yeah, most of your crew are going to be very low level and you're not going to have the best crew so this is a really good way in which you can actually borrow some higher level crew which is going to really you know, turn the tides of the battle so another good thing about you know joining a fleet is that you're going to be able to request for crew as you can see here so as a new player you're going to have you know um, really low level crew as well as not the best crew so that's where you know by joining a fleet you're going to be able to access you know some of your fleet mates crew which they can actually uh, donate here so for a limited time in a span of 24 hours you can actually borrow some of these crew and you know this can really help you in terms of some of the battles uh, when you actually you know fight against other ships because you have a lot higher level crew so lastly being in a fleet, you're actually able to take part in monthly tournaments. So tournaments are basically uh, held at the end of every month uh, for about a week where you actually get to compete with other fleets in the, the division. So there are actually four main divisions for the top 100 fleets uh, in the game. And depending on each division, there are different kinds of rewards. So as you can see, the, the top prize for Div Division A is 100,000 uh, Starbucks as well as uh, this currency called Doves. So Doves basically are a special currency which allows you to buy you know, uh, really special uh, items uh, be it you know, type, different types of crews to different kinds of rooms. I don't have it unlocked here but uh, as you progress in the game you know more of these options will be you know, made available to you. Uh, at the end of every tournament as well you can buy all these type of crates so uh, depending on these price boxes, you know, some of the items that come out may be really valuable and you can actually sell them for Starbucks uh, in the market. So tip number eight, pick a ship strategy. So as you level up your ship, uh, the game is actually going to open up you know, more kinds of rooms that you are able to build, which greatly influences the kind of strategies you can opt for. So some of the high level strategies include uh, you know, mass teleport spam, where you send many crew over to the enemy ship to destroy the rooms, or you can range to things like penetration missile, missile spam, where you spam a lot of missiles that do you know, only hull damage. So for beginners, I would recommend that you stick to a gunship strategy, which essentially means that you focus on powering all your you know, weapons, like your lasers, you know, your bolters, all these guns, and focusing on crew that gives you high weapon uh, damage stats. So as you can see here, any stats with weapon uh, above 20, that would be very good for a gunship strategy. So tip number nine, remember to upgrade your armor and your lifts. So armor are basically these blocks that you can see here. 
they are placed beside rooms and they provide additional protection to the rooms. So in this case where you can see I have six armor blocks surrounding this reactor, it's going to actually give a certain degree of protection to the, sh the, the room in question. So this is good because when the enemy focuses certain rooms, especially you know rooms like this where there's only one power, uh, it provides an added level of protection uh, to the room and decreases the amount of you know, damage done to the room as well as your ship hull. As for the lifts, uh, these basically uh, increase the speed in which your units or your crew can move vertically within the ship itself. So of course, you know, the faster you can move, the faster you can go to a room to basically repair it and, and whatnot. So the tenth and final tip is to actually, you know, keep on researching. So research is done by first building the lab room and based on this uh, lab, you actually can research a ton of different technologies. So in, on my main account, I'm actually level 11 already, so, uh, ship level. and yet there are still a lot of things that I have yet to research uh, because it just takes so much time so I would suggest to actually uh, start this early uh, to basically start researching all these different things as soon as possible when you get a chance um, if you have the bugs, uh, focus on leveling up your engineering as this allows you to construct you know, more systems simultaneously and it will basically speed up the progress of your game so with that, I hope you found the video useful. Uh, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. If not, you know, wish you all the best and good luck in your Pixel Star Hips journey. Bye bye.